sometimes people are afraid of change. But I think that the momentum that has been building over the last decade or so in Oklahoma City has prepared our community to embrace something new. Factory Obscura is doing something so big, so far beyond just immersive art. They're bringing the city alive and the city is responding. founded Factory Obscura, we always knew that we wanted to create a home for immersive art in Oklahoma City that would employ artists and create a new model for how creative businesses can be sustainable. In general, the middle of the country is often overlooked as a place where culture and creativity happens. And I think that within our community, but also people outside looking in, Factory Obscura has opened their eyes to what can be possible in a place like Oklahoma City. Factory Obscura formed in 2017 with a group of friends who started a conversation about what it would be like if there were playgrounds for adults. Early morning meetings once a week turned into a plan to create installation art and experiential art, an immersive arts experience. We spent a lot of time thinking about what we were gonna call ourselves, but ultimately we came to Factory Obscura as a reference to the camera obscura, which depicts something upside down and backwards when you look in the lens. And we wanted to take the idea of a factory and flip it Instead of conformity and uniformity, we are asking people to be creative and be themselves and to create something new and original. So the next step was to form the artist team. We had compiled a, a list of artists that we thought would be an ideal fit for what we were trying to do, and we made a very mysterious email call out to those folks. We said, we have this big idea. It's too much to explain in an email. Just come to this meeting. The first meeting that we had, we were told, OK, you all are here, so now what do you all want to make? Which is kind of totally the opposite of what I'm accustomed to in the art world. And from that group of about 25 artists, there were 17 who were able to commit right then and there, and we started immediately. Factory Obscura tends to do things on the changing of seasons with the solstice and the equinox, so we wanted to celebrate summer solstice this year with a fun party. So I like the pacing, since our three of you, you all can really just take your time and just be like really dramatic about it. And it's kind of the kickoff just for the whole alley, and then Jay and I will start to paint people in the public. So we'll go through it once you all are just like chill and comfortable and settled and we'll kind of just do a walk throughout here and I think it's gonna be great. I feel like traditionally artists, we're kind of raised to think we have to be in this by ourselves. And as a collective, if one artist is, hey, this is a concept we're gonna roll with, it's understood within the group that everyone else pitches in collaboratively and we help support each other. I'm painting Hope right now for the Blacklight Runway show that starts at nine tonight. And we're just really trying to create an elevated Blacklight experience. It's just really exciting to be a part of something that is helping usher in the future of what art can be. I first heard about Factory Obscura when they put out the call for community volunteer nights. You would hear kind of these whispers of what's going on in Oklahoma City. I had never heard of anything like it, but immersive art sounded interesting, and so I showed up and started volunteering. It's never build exactly this, but follow this prompt, build this idea with us together. We would do things like cut shapes out of felt and have no concept of how they would show up in the art. What came from it was completely unimaginable from those early volunteer days. During their very first exhibit, there is a line a mile long out the door of people waiting to get in. That's not something I'd ever seen in Oklahoma City before. We opened with no expectations at all. Then right from the beginning, over and over again, people who entered the space, you could tell as they left that they had been just transported in some way. 
Immersive art is about creating a world that the participants can disappear into and can let themselves open up to a new kind of experience. My favorite thing about Factory Obscura is that you don't know what you're gonna feel when you walk in here. It's frankly indescribable. Imagine every single one of your senses being activated at once. It's a whole world. It's interactive. Everything is touchable. We're trying to pull people together where they can be open to having a wider range of experiences than the traditional model of going to a gallery and viewing art on the wall. A lot like a child exploring a forest, they go in and instinctively just start to explore. It's really fun to see the volunteers come in when the experience is complete and they, they see, oh, that's what I was making. And you'll see like, oh, I did that, or I did that, or I helped with this piece. It's really cool to come in and have just a little piece of ownership and to be able to say, hey, I was a part of this. Our art challenges you to think about things in a different way, to feel things in a different way. <sighs> it's just magic. Summer Solstice happens to fall at the same time as Oklahoma City Pride, and Factory Obscura knew they wanted to do a party. And so they partnered with Oklahoma City Pride to ensure that we're lifting up all voices across Oklahoma City. The art scene in Oklahoma is definitely growing. People who are like me are out here starting to, you know, decorate this place. I think Factory Obscura is changing the art scene and letting people know this place would be super great if there was no artists here painting these walls and they can make it at grand scales and it's, it's worth it. It's really exciting coming out here. It's the longest day of the year. I love what they're doing to the community, just bringing out something that we've needed for so long, a sense of fellowship. Oh, the summer solstice I think is fabulous. It's great to see so many people out having a good time. And it's a real demonstration of community. And Factory Obscura, I love because they have such a playful approach to art. And I think we need more play, we need more laughter, and we need more fun. His favorite part were the creatures, the big alien creatures, so we really enjoyed it. Yeah, they've definitely brought the art scene to life here. What Factory Obscura is doing is giving home and meaning and purpose to a lot of people who haven't really felt like they've fit in. Factory Obscura is showing us that this is all of our city, that we all belong here, and that we all have really valuable talents to showcase here. It's really, really cool to just be able to come into a space and feel welcome and accepted for who I am, and then to get to contribute and help build that space for other people too. We have seen a ton of support since we started Factory Obscura. A lot of enthusiasm from our city at large, but also from our arts community specifically. I feel like in the way that other immersive arts groups have inspired us, I think Factory Obscura happening in Oklahoma City is opening some doors for other creatives to think a little more ambitious about what is possible in their own work. Their whole heart is in this work and it is reverberating throughout the city. We can feel it, all of us can feel it.